What's going on guys? Killer6 back with my final Destroyer of Worlds build, or at least hopefully this is the final one. We're now at level 72 in Borderlands 3, which should be the final level cap increase. God, I hope so. And this build is crazy good. This build will allow you to melt bosses. As you guys saw in the intro, you can kill everything with this thing. You can mob with this thing as well. You can do the crystals phase and the takedown without enemies ever even looking in your direction. It's pretty freaking great. And you can keep your action skill up almost nonstop. And I'm going to teach you guys how real quick in this build video as well. All right. So as you can see here, this monarch is absolutely melting enemies. The less I move, the more damage I do, by the way, because of our skill in the green tree called turn tail and run. Basically, while you're holding still, you get increased gun damage and fire rate. The more you move, the less that actually works. Also, to get our action skill back really quick, shoot enemies. <laughs> the more you shoot enemies, and especially if you're using the monarch, the faster you're going to get your action skill back. Uh, if I had better aim, this would be a better demonstration of that. <laughs> there we go. Action skills back. So that's the cool thing about this build. You can get your action skill back stupid fast. You can do stupid damage while you have your action skill up. And this builds a lot of fun. Now, while you're using the Monarchs, you are going to move slow. That said, you can use the light show if you'd like to do that. It's just not as uh, strong overall as the Monarch is. So keep that in mind in case you want to use that. That said, it's still a really fun weapon and you can absolutely destroy things with it despite it having elemental resistances to the contrary. All right, so how does this build work? Starting off with the gear. All right, we got light shows and various elements. Don't need those. I just like to have them. They're a nice touch. Mostly what you're looking for are monarchs. And honestly, the times four monarch is perfect for this build. You don't have to have the times eight. Matter of fact, with most characters, the times eight is a waste because you're going to spend a lot of time reloading your guns. We are using the revolter, but like on my Amara build, we'll take it off. Take it off because you guys think that the build sucks without the revolter or whatever. Well, how about that? How about this? How about this? Let's pop this. Let's do this. We got no revolter on. Look, we're still melting people. So shut the hell up about the revolter already. Is the revolter strong? Yes. Is it necessary? No. That's why I've included these other shields on there. If you'd rather use, you know, a stopgap, go for it. Stopgap will basically give you invincibility every time you pop your action skill for five seconds at a time. Pop your action skill every five seconds. You stay invincible all the time with flak. That's cool. Do that. I don't care. Whatever. In terms of the other gear, of course, besides the monarchs, we also have a heartbreaker on here. If you guys saw my shotguns only flak playthrough, then you know that we use the heartbreaker to kill hemivores and vermivorous. We did all the takedowns. We did everything with a heartbreaker. Breaker. This thing heals you while you shoot enemies, does crazy good damage, highly underrated gun in the game right now. In terms of the other guns that we've got on here, we do have a Lucky 7. If you guys have ever used this on Flak, you know it can be really, really strong, especially if you get good rolls on it. We got Tizzies on here in case you want to play around with those. We got the EMP5 in case you want to run fast. The Flipper. Flipper's great on every single Vault Hunter. Got some other Monarchs on here for you to play with. Some more Heartbreakers of Butcher. Skull Masher. In the intro video, you saw me just absolutely destroy Tront. That was with the Skull Masher. Basically, you treat this thing like a shotgun get right up on an enemy and all you got to do when you uh shoot somebody with this thing is you just pop it as fast as you can you just shoot as fast as you can pull that trigger and you're going to wreck people with that other guns that we have on here i think that's about it actually uh hellwalker gotta have the hellwalker on there that's my favorite gun grenades that we got on here mostly you're going to use the hunter seeker or the piss grenade piss is great for debuffing enemies both of these have on grenade throw weapon grenade and action skill damage increased by 25 percent for six seconds to so every six seconds make sure you throw a grenade something i always forget to do light speed grenade highly underrated grenade fish slap which is just stupid artifacts we're using the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge. This is the only piece of gear on the build that I did not farm myself. This was given to me by a friend. So if you don't trust that, you just want to drop this on the ground, go for it. There's plenty of other great artifacts on here as well, including a cut purse launch pad, which you can use to regen ammo. In terms of the build, here is my Mountain Dew tree. We've capstoned this out for the power inside. Extra 25% damage when your health is full while you're on action skill. So you're going to do stupid damage with that. We uh, have Fade Away, and I'm mostly staying in Fade Away. The only time that I'm going to switch my action skill is for the crystals. And when I do that, I'm going to switch over here to Gamma Burst. And when we switch to Gamma Burst, I'm going to use Atomic Aroma and Endurance. And when I do the crystals, I want to switch this to the Red Fang class mod. And as this thing says, while Gamma Burst is active, Flax Pet taunts all enemies. 
So you basically summon your action skill, your pets out there, the enemies are distracted, you sit there on the crystals and everything ignores you. It's pretty great. So you can't go wrong with that. Nothing in the purple tree. You don't need the purple tree at all. It's actually, it actually takes away some of your damage. Let's be honest. If you are having issues with survivability and you don't want to use a heartbreaker, you can use this tree to get a little more survivability back, but it's at the loss of damage to do so. In the blueberry punch tree, this is where we have actually expanded upon the build from the past. Previously, I didn't have either of these things maxed out, I don't believe. So now we're able to max both of those out. I only have points in who rescued who, so that I can get down to barbaric yalp, and that gives us extra 80% pet bonuses on our gunslinger jabber which means more movement speed and more crit damage which is very nice speaking of damage the uh last tree we're gonna look at is the hunter tree and down at the bottom of this we got megavore this is critical hit damage on any part of an enemy which is what makes flak so strong such a good powerful build here we got head count this is what gives us our action skill cooldown while we're hitting crits you just shoot crits, you get your action skill cooled down really fast. You don't even have to have three in this, but didn't really have anywhere else I needed the points. So there we have it. With Leave No Trace, you actually get ammo back in your mag on a pretty regular basis while you're scoring critical hits, which I mean, this is this is just a fun build. So let's go ahead and skip ahead to the part where we're at the crystals and I'll show you how I perform that real quick. All right, so here we are at the crystals. We just wiped out all these guys. It was pretty fast. I probably could have just showed you guys that, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put on Gamma Burst and we're gonna use Atomic aroma and endurance those are the two skills that i'm going to use on that i'm going to keep my jabber pet because i get the movement speed critical damage we are going to switch this to the red fang like i said and that's going to allow my pet to taunt enemies and be a huge distraction while i just stand on the crystals and do my thing so we'll summon our pet out there and then right now we can literally just break dance we can do whatever we want there's no real reason for me to do anything. Now, occasionally you will have these stragglers that will walk across your platform. When they do that, most of the time, they're still gonna be distracted by your pet anyhow. So, I mean, if you feel like you wanna shoot them, you can, it's not gonna matter, but you don't have to. That said, once you see your action skills about to run out, you might wanna get your bipod mode ready because you're gonna wanna shoot some enemies so you can get your action skill built back up really quick too. So that's what we're gonna do right here. When these guys come out, we're gonna shoot these guys. Get our action skill charge back up, summon our pet, and now we can get back to our break dancing. You gotta get your break dance on every once in a while. So that's all there is to the crystals phase with Flack. Everything else is basically go back into fade away and uh, do your stupid crazy fade away damage with all the bosses and stuff. You do wanna make sure that you're being careful with bipod mode when you're on the anathema fight so that when you hit those, um, when you try to run and hit those platforms, you don't just fall off the map. So be careful of bipod mode when you're doing that. But otherwise, that's all there is to this build. It's super straightforward. It's very much similar to my previous Destroyer of Worlds flak. Like I said, the only thing that's really changed is we've gone further down in the blue tree. Everything else is essentially the same. Hold still to do more damage. Uh, hold as still as possible to do as much damage as possible. Um, hit criticals on enemies to get your action skill back super straightforward hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit the like button hit subscribe tap the bell icon for more if you want to you can download this build if you're on pc you can download this build on my discord server there's a link down in the description below you can look at the skill tree there'll be an image of it in the description below as well you can click on that and you can see the build image anytime you want so you know how to spec out the points thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next video y'all have a great day